Good morning, folks. Today we're going to spank climate scientists, spank a couple observers, and end with Nova Science. We've got space weather as well here, as a few filaments did rip away from the limbs, but absolutely nothing in Earth's direction. Solar wind calmed down along with geomagnetic conditions, and it will next be amplified by the dark coronal hole on the north. Its light impact is coming on Tuesday. Let's begin the science with clarification for the headline hawks who don't read thoroughly enough and who yesterday said things like, we're upset that the EPA can't regulate pollution, asking why I would support that. Well, if that's what happened, it would be a legitimate question. But the case simply said they can't create new climate regulation for things like carbon dioxide, which is not pollution, it's plant food. They can still regulate poison, and that's what's good. They can't regulate carbon dioxide, and that's also good, because that's not the problem. If you disagree with that, you didn't watch the climate playlist listed below the video. By the way, this article says that diurnal temperature ranges are declining due to human pollution, and then says human pollution will increase that range into the future. And if you followed that sentence and think, wait, that's backwards, welcome to climate science. All those claims about hurricanes and global warming. Oops, the frequency is decreasing and they say that's human's fault seem backwards from what you heard on the news? Have I yet welcomed you to climate science? How about something legit in the climate realm? The 10th confirmation that the sun controls the monsoon. Specifically here, the one responsible for feeding half the world, and by the way, it is set to tank again in the coming decades. Switching gears here to the notion that they don't know Nova. And here's a new type of Nova, one that is close but not quite fitting into any existing category. And this keeps happening as Nova science continues to find new ways to trigger a Nova, pre-Nova conditions, and types of stars that do them. And also, how they keep finding more and more hidden in plain sight. This one demonstrating that sometimes you need to look in the exact right wavelength to know what you're seeing. It's a nice reminder as well that it's not their narrow window of Nova candidates. There are as many ways to do it as there are shapes and colors and forms of Nova. Think all these are from the same kind of star or mechanism? Me either. We greatly appreciate your support, both that climate playlist and the Earth disaster playlist, which goes over the Nova science revolution, are found below the video. Again, every one of your questions on those topics that we see in the comments section can be answered there, and they are there for a reason. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.